Hello there and welcome to another quick fix and today we're going to be showing you how to upload games to an SSD to play on a PS2. First, first thing you're going to need is a PS2 network adapter. Now as you can see here I've got two. This one here is an official PS2 uh, network adapter and this one is a GameStar adapter aftermarket part. Now um, the long and the short of it is that the GameStar adapter is a load of rubbish. Um, the games freeze and crash and are unable and you're unable to play. Sometimes you get to play the game, but most of the time it's just a pile of junk. Um, this thing costs £15 on eBay and honestly, you're wasting your money. Um, I wasted my money so you don't have to. Get the official uh, PlayStation 2 adapter, modify it so it has the SATA port. You can check this in the previous week's content on how to modify this. So what we'll need other than the PS2 modded uh, network adapter is a memory card with Freemit boot on it. You can check previous content to see how to install Freemit boot. An SSD and a pen stick. First we need to go to GitHub to get HDL batch installer. Then we'll need a copy of Freemit boot. Um, just check the uh, link in the description. So we want to unzip the uh, free boot onto the pen stick and then we want to connect the uh, solid state drive to the PS2 network adapter. Put the network adapter into the PS2, the memory card and the pen stick into the PS2. You can turn the PS2 on now and scroll down to the lawn shelf, hit X and then press circle. The fifth option down in the list mass is the pen stick. Open that with circle and then you'll see a folder called FMCB Insta. Circle again and scroll down again to the fifth option um, FMCB installer.l. This will launch the Freemit Boot Installer program. Now click R1 and you'll be in the menu for free hard drive boot. Format the SSD and then the second option down is to install hard drive boot. Click X and wait for the progress bar to finish. Once you've done this, you can turn your PS2 off. Now disconnect your SSD from the PS2 and connect it to your computer. This can be done through USB to SATA converter or just putting the SSD into your PC. Launch HDL batch installer on your desktop. You might need to restart your PC after plus plugging the SSD in. Click on the button at the top that says find PS2 HDD, the list next to it should populate with the SSD. Then click on the search button to find the games that are on your PC. As you can see I have Final Fantasy X, X2 and XII. I own these games as you can see from the picture and it's not illegal to make backups of media that you own as long as you do not intend to distribute those backups. I don't condone piracy. But with that being said, what you decide to do within the privacy of your own OPL is your business. Once you've selected the games, they will appear on a list on HDL Batch Installer, and all you need to do then is hit Install. Once the games have finished installing, with an SSD it's quite quick, but with a hard drive it's considerably slower. You want to plug your SSD back into your PS2 adapter and click on the option for OPL or Official Open PS2 Loader. And there we go. The list is now populated with the games. 
Might have to play around with some of the settings in OPL to get the games to play properly. I've found that uh, the wrong region games don't play as well as games from the region the PS2 is from. That's why I always use um, the free boot for, in, for the region I'm in. Um, you can get the cover and discard um, for, uh, using a program called OPL Manager. But I find that uh, if you have a considerable amount of games, it just wastes space on the hard drive. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Y R P in position. It's showtime.